I arrived at my cafe a little bit early today and um, I'm going to test the workflow of the blind shaker in a cafe situation. Uh, no WDT, just blind shaker. And I'm trying to make it consistent to produce good results. So today I'm going to do a little bit of test. I'm going to time myself for how long I shake and how I shake it because time is crucial in the cafe setting. So uh, I need to make sure that it doesn't take too long to prepare. So the idea is I'm going to direct those into the blind shaker and I'm going to use the bottomless bottle filter to do the extractions so that I can see the quality of the extractions. Uh, like what I usually do, right? Because I usually test the espresso in the morning. Right, so uh, let's just give it a try. Uh, okay, so as usual, right, so instead of dosing direct into the portal filter, we're going to try dosing direct into the blind shaker, right? And I'm going to start the time. Uh, not now, sorry. Okay. Okay, perhaps I should time myself from the start of you know, the operations until I shake it and how long I take to complete the whole thing, right? Versus the normal way of pulling espresso. So first I'll do the uh, normal way, right? Right, the second one, I'm using a bottomless, so it's a little bit tricky because I can't split the shot like that. So I'm going to use a, a server, right? So let's start the time. Grinding time is the same. Okay, as you can see, I'm only shaking horizontally maybe for five seconds to a tap. Yeah, this is the part whereby it gets a little bit tricky because I have to do this, right? Then I have to toss it, then there you go, tamping. Park screen on. There's no channeling. But the espresso doesn't merge into a single stream. It is uh, actually using a dual stream. Right. Okay, I have to weigh this liquid to see what is the volume I'm getting. So let me taste the espresso to see whether there's any actual difference. Ooh. The one with direct dose is already tasting pretty sweet. It seems I'm getting less volume out. Okay, I have to recalibrate this. Oh, yeah, it's a lot sweeter, right? Um, I'm not just, I'm, I'm trying to say it's not just 5% sweeter. It's probably 10 or 15 percent sweeter. Oh, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, now I just have to make sure the workflow fits into this setting to make it faster, right? Yeah, so I think it does, it does worth a try to come up with a workflow in the cafe situation, right? So we don't need to do WTT anymore, right? Because from the extractions from off the bottomless, I can see that A is pulling a good shot. So let me do one more time, right? I'm going to show you. Tap, knockout, right? Let's try that again. 
and I have to redesign the way I place my uh, blind circle. Shake horizontally for about five seconds. Tap. Toss. By the way, I'm uh, we are our opening hours is at eight thirty. Even though I I turn the sign to uh, show that my cafe is open, but my customer know that we are open at eight thirty. Unless they are tourists, right? Okay, we always use park screen. Now I'm gonna bring you to see the extraction from bottom. And let me put a scale underneath. To see how much coffee I'm actually extracting now. There is a little bit of channeling. Short time seems to run a little bit fast. I need to recalibrate this. Right, so I'm just do one more shots and show you if I don't do a blind shaker. Hi morning, Gwenda. Hi morning, Samuel. Thanks for joining me. Right, let me try. This time I'm gonna do without. Okay, but before that, let me try the coffee, right? The shop at, oh, this is pretty sweet. Wow. But the quantity is a little bit too little. So in order for this workflow to do, I have to recalibrate uh, this machine, right? But let me just show you very quickly what happens if I do with my normal prep, which means to say, I'm just going to do direct dose. Right, no preparation, just ten directly. Screen on. You can see definitely there's a lot more channeling, but eventually it does merge. Okay, so now I have to taste it. Oh yeah, um, the shot with the blind shaker is definitely more vibrant, more juicy. On top of everything I get from my normal preparation, which is just those tam and pool, I think the blind shaker does uh, remove the little bit of. Uh, I can I can taste a little bit of hint of bitterness at the back. Uh, if I just do my normal way, of course it's comparative. When I don't do the comparison, I probably can't pick up the tasting notes. Yeah, so I think in my few tests on WDT versus no, no, sorry, 
uh, blind shaker versus uh, normal temp. Um, it does show very promising results. So now the case is how we do in the cafe, right? Yeah, so we're going to try it later. Right? When customer come, I'm going to do a blind shake for today, right? Uh, during my shift. So at least I don't trouble my stuff. Right, and if we do this with the, um, I don't know, I have to think about how we incorporate this. Okay, so now, if you have any questions at all, please let me know, right? Because recently I've been doing quite a bit of testing. Wow, okay. I have to get the basket out. Okay, now I'm going to do a proper shot. Okay, remember we're not supposed to do this. I need to recalibrate this. Okay, 25 seconds. I'm getting about 40 grams of liquid, which is, in my opinion, pretty good. So now the profile has been saved. So it can be repeated later on. All right, so let me try the espresso again. Yeah, it's as good as the first one. It's very juicy, very sweet. It's very balanced with uh, acidity and brightness. Uh, of course, the blend today uh, has a Kenya coffee inside. It's a Kenya AA grape uh, wash, uh, which tends to give you the white grapes kind of flavor, and I can taste it in this cup, right? Yeah, this is good espresso. Okay, now I'm going to do a milk base. using the milk frother machine to dispense the milk. All right, cheers, have a good morning. Yep, it's good. So let's see how we incorporate the, the workflow later on. 
I hope I can remember when I'm busy. Because when we are busy, sometimes we we go back to our normal muscle memory. I'll be having my quick breakfast. Let me know if you have any um, Questions, or you can you can talk to me about anything, right? Yep, I think it's my my barista Kelly. Because you realize when you do a single origin espresso, especially the lighter roast, there is a significant significant difference in the extraction speed of the coffee. Normally, he just direct those from the uh, grinder into a dosing cup, transfer to a photo filter. Do not do any preparation, probably tap on the computer and direct tap. And the extraction is always fast, right? You probably finish your extraction in 15 seconds. But once she started using the blind shaker and she sees the way that the espresso flows out, she's immediately soaked uh, by how well the coffee is extracted by just shaking it. So I think I would like to do another test. Does it matter whether it's a blind shaker or just shake inside the dosing cup, you know? Does it make any difference? Um, does the shape of the blind shaker make any difference or does it matter if actually the coffee hits this part and disperses the uh, coffee ground, right? I think it does have a little bit of impact because I believe when the coffee ground hit this, it was splatter out into a, like a fountain and when that happened, it actually aerated the coffee uh, mixes, uh, I'm not too sure what, I, I, I'm just thinking this on myself. Uh, it probably give, uh, I, I don't know, maybe um, give a chance to for the coffee to mix with the air or something. I'm not too sure whether um, there's a scientific reasoning behind this. But let me just pull one more shot, this time without the blind shaker. I'm just going to use a uh, dosing cup and I'm going to shake it, right, to see whether it does have any difference in the extractions. Right, to do that, I'm still going to use my bottomless bottle filter because I think that will be able to allow us to see just before my customers arrive. I can try and play with it a little bit before we get busy. All right, okay, so let's try. Same cup of coffee. Same type of coffee beans. Okay. The issue is I need to find a cover. So I'm just gonna cover with this. I'm just gonna shake, right? Shake horizontally. Right. Okay, let's see.
Oh, you can see that it's actually channeling. Hmm, this is interesting. Okay, let me do one more shot with the blind shaker and test again. Does it matter? What material, what shape, what design? I'm not too sure whether you can see on the camera the way that the coffee comes out, hit this middle bar and disperse the coffee. I think in that way, it redistributes the coffee. So I think the design does matter. Let's taste the coffee between these two. What do you think? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, now the, the thing is about the taste, right? Mm, the two coffee taste different. Let's try again. Yeah, this is definitely more bitter. The one that by using the shaking inside the dosing cup. Yeah, so please try at home, right? To uh, uh, let's do a like an experiment together, right? Uh, try at home. Shake if you have a dosing cup. Just shake it in your dosing cup. And if you have a blind shaker, does it in the blind shaker and shake it, right? Uh, the taste is different, right? It's definitely different, yeah. The blind shaker definitely is better, right? So I'm going to do one more time to show you how the coffee actually get dispersed uh, when I dose the coffee directly into the dosing cup. I mean, sorry, the, the blind shaker, right? Okay, I have to extend my tripod to see whether you can see it. Okay, I think this should give you a better view. Right, observe how. Okay, I'm not too sure whether you can see. Okay. Okay, observe how the coffee actually gets dispersed, right? Maybe it's too dark here. Okay. Interesting, I have no customer this morning. They are not coming in. It's not good news for us.
Okay. Okay, so this one will be standby. I'll leave it there. I think I've drink I drank too much coffee this morning. So run this experiment at home because I have a comment on my video yesterday. Does it matter if I do the shaking inside a dosing cup or any other container rather than the blind shaker? I think the key lies in the way that the coffee hits the bar at the center, right? And disperse the coffee. I think it makes a difference. This bar here, right? So the, the thing about it is when the coffee comes out, it has to hit this middle bar. And in that way, it disperse and break up all the clumps, I believe. I don't know. Uh, if you have a blind shaker, please try it at home, right? Yeah, it does look better, the second extractions when I do it in the blind shaker. Yeah, so if I don't have to do WDT, it cut down one step. Um, and blind shaking, um, obviously, if you can manage it, it is... You do not need a dosing ring, that's one thing. Yeah, um, but... You know, as a home barista, you probably have purchased all the equipment already, <laughs> right? It's a deep, deep rabbit hole. Spend so much money trying to get the, the good taste. I'm not, yeah, it's not the norm, it's... Uh, for us to do um, espresso in a blind shaker, I mean, prepping prep in a blind, sh blind shaker, it has to be a single origin espresso. Uh, we don't normally do it from the hopper behind, whereby use our blend here. Um, we have created two blends. Um, they are very different coffee. Um, as I mentioned in my previous life, we are trying to uh, create a very familiar blend that suits the local taste. Um, I would say 80 to 90% of uh, Singaporeans, they still like the dark, darker, chocolatey and nutty taste. They don't like acidity in their coffee. Um, that is actually the uh, general trend for middle age. I would say maybe early 30s to uh, onwards, they, they like this tasting profile. But if you are looking at people that's below 30 years old, right? Uh, I've seen many cafe. Um, is run by very young baristas, maybe 20 plus. Yeah, I'm already 40 plus reaching 50, right? So uh, I like I like bright and juicy espresso. At the same time, um, I also, I, I don't mind the nutty and chocolatey flavor. Because coffee is, coffee is a beverage for everyone. So yeah, I shouldn't be doing coffee on just the acidity and sour side. That's my, my belief, right? And my cafe directions. So when I get back home, I'm going to test in the home setting uh, when I use a dosing cup. Shake in the dosing cup. That's pretty interesting. Because I think it's not the shaking that's changing the... Uh, that's making the espresso to pull better. Okay, uh, my first two customer coming. Hello, morning. Hi. Could I get a um, one black? Uh, hot black? Yeah, hot black. Sure. Uh, black and yeah. Or American. Okay. Uh, and he's having a black one. Having here? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. What beans do you have? Uh, so today is these two beans we are using. For black, we recommend this one, okay. unless you like something uh, more with more body and uh, more chocolate and dark, nutty side. Uh, yes, I would prefer that. Ah, then we'll just do this one for the both. Okay. Yep. okay. Just a minute. Okay. 
Stay away? Yeah. Just step here. I think it hasn't wake up yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it does. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, take a seat first. Yeah. How long have you been? One year plus. Yeah. You always pass by. Ah, then you should, should come in. Yeah, because we always go to YY Cafe. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, not vegan, it's a keto store. Ah, okay. Yes, the keto uh, bakery. Yeah. Move I think they closed their operation in Singapore. Move back to Indonesia, I think, and uh, focus on online, I believe. Yeah. See how it looks like. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I think Eureka grinders have to use this, especially Eureka Minion series. Because Eureka grinder always produce comfy ground, at least from the Minion side. Definitely take a longer workflow. Too bad, I think. Just that uh, I have to design in such a way that yeah, if I put it there, then I can do some other stuff, right? So that's the plan. Which means I will need two blind shakers. Turbo on my friend's machine with uh, ZP6. I think I <laughs> ZP6. Um, I think, but I think ZP6 is a little bit biased on the taste. It always swing to the brighter and the sweeter sides, especially brightness. Uh, for me, I don't use ZP6 on, on my coffee. 
think it suits uh, coffee from the African region or coffee that's a little bit lighter. Good morning. Having here? Yeah, yeah the cappuccino? And the beef shepherd's pie? Okay, let me see whether I have it in. Yes, we do. Yes. Large cappuccino? Yeah, we for cappuccino we always do double shots. Okay. Yeah. If you can, a little extra. So one more shot. Yeah, one sure. more shot. <laughs> and, uh, if I can uh, buy chicken. Uh, chicken mushroom pie, sure. Yeah. By credit card. Yes. Sure. Step here. Thank you. You need the receipt? No, thank you. Take a seat first. Yeah. So same procedure. See the clumps already broken up.
pull one more shot. The stronger cappuccino. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Play water. Sure. Um, normal temperature water. No, no. Sure. Fine. The best course in Singapore. Really? Yes. I'm glad. I'm happy that I finished in Singapore with a good coffee. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you leaving today? Yes. Ah, okay. At least you found us. Next time when you come, you can come back. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly where to come. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. morning yeah sure you want to see the inside of the blind shaker basically it comes in three piece right it looks like this it's empty right it's very smooth on the inside very smooth it's a lot smoother than the outside so that it doesn't leave behind any coffee residue this is the middle piece which is actually a, acts as a stopper Can see, right? So you you those coffee, yeah, they were complimenting the coffee. You heard that, right? <laughs> they say this is the best coffee in Singapore. I uh, I'm happy. Right? And uh, you can see the cover. There's a hole here. This is to press against this metal bar, so that when you shake, it doesn't move. Right. So you pull this, and then you shake. Yeah. And you can see the design of this is allow you to sit on top of a water filter easily. As you can see, it sits on top nicely. That's it.
So, interestingly, welcome, Gwen. Uh, feels like it should have needles in it. <laughs> you mean, uh, actually, there's no need for a needle. Uh, it's not the shaking that makes it fluffy, right? It's not the shaking, right? Uh, I, I try to, because my lighting here is pretty bad. Uh, let me see whether I can get you in a better angle. Then you know what I mean, right? Okay, if you look at this, um, this is a grinder produced by the same Eureka company, right? I'll show you how it looks like when it's dosed direct into the coil filter. Take a look. Let me see whether I can uh, have torch light. Look at it. Right now, I'm going to show you how it is when I dose into a pot of uh, fine shaker. I see the clumps. Right, there's clumps everywhere. Now, this. Okay, you look at how it breaks up. You see that? Look at the result. So this breaks up whatever if you have a lousy grinder. This is a tool to improve and not WDT. You can see how well it is distributed now compared to the quality just now. From this to this. You can see the difference? There's a lot of difference there. So that's why, that's the reason why. That's why the blind shape is working. Yes, I think the shaking is just to level it. In fact, I don't think I don't even need to shake. I'm going to try without shaking. It shouldn't be called a blind shaker. You should call a coffee dispersing final or something right this is basically dispersing the coffee let's do a test and i want to i'm interested to find out the taste of it we have to waste a bit of coffee ah, okay Let's try. You can see it's so clean. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of coffee. Okay, let's do without shaking. one shot without anything.
This is usually what we do. This is the Java Robusta. Uh, we call it the Inferno Java. So it has a certain percentage of Robusta inside. It flow faster. Good morning. Oh, this is acidic. Oh, the difference is big. Uh, you can order first, then yeah. you can take a seat. Yep. <laughs> Coffee menu is here. The food ma food is just in the counter. Yeah. Um, the flat white having here. Sure. Cold brew? Sure. Kunaman? Sure. Yes, we heat down for you. That's all? Do you need a receipt? No, it's fine. Okay. Can I take a seat? Thanks. Yeah. Flat white. No shaking. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, no worry. Yes, thank you. Yeah.
You need eyes in the cold room? Okay. This is the sugar. You get from this cup. Sugar. Yeah, this is the sugar. Just open up. <laughs> yeah. This is the cold brew. Okay. 
Yeah, I think when you lift up, when you lift up this thing, you are actually allowing the coffee to settle down. So I think it's shaking in the process. So yeah, and when you tamp it, you have a little bit of shaking movement, but I think shaking is not really important. I think it's the way that you dose coffee into the blind shaker that makes a difference. Yeah. So I think that's what I've discovered. Right, so I think uh, we have just hit the uh, one hour mark. Right, thanks for joining. Hi Anders, you are joining us. Again, working late. Should I say early? Right, uh, anyway, I'm ending the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, shout out to Gwen, Samuel, uh, saw coffee. What kind of espresso machine are you working with? Uh, right now, I'm I'm working with uh, the espresso machine from BBM, uh, and this is the pressure profiling machines. Yep. Uh, shout out to Draft, my friend. And this, thanks for joining. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.